Okay, so now we will uh, do this module on centrality matrix. So, uh, centrality matrix captures the topological importance of nodes in a network. So, consider for example here this node Y. It's kind of bridging these two components or clusters or vertices. So, all communication from this cluster has to go through this with node Y to communication in this cluster. So, this node Y is said to have a very large betweenness, okay, uh, in the sense that um, all shortest paths from any vertex here to any vertex here have to go through this vertex Y. So one centrality metric that we will look in detail is the between the centrality metric which is a measure of what fraction of the shortest paths between any two vertices go through a particular vertex. So that is one centrality metric. Another centrality metric which we have already seen is the um, degree based centrality metric or degree centrality uh, which is nothing but just the number of neighbors of a vertex. So from that point of view, X and Z are said to have a high degree centrality because they have three neighbors. The other vertices all have just two neighbors. So X and Z may be more important from a degree point of view. Whereas Y, even though it has a fewer degree, it has a high betweenness. Okay. So we are going to look at five centrality metrics in this module and they will be used in the other modules in this course too. So each centrality metric captures the importance of a vertex in a certain context and it may be a different context uh, where the vertex like so in one for one centrality metric may, may indicate one vertex is very important like between us indicates why it's very important as degree indicates why it's not that important. So there's always a kind of trade-off sometimes between the centrality metrics. So also the ranking of the vertices based on one centrality metric may not be always the same as the ranking of the vertices based on the other some other centrality metric. So we are going to look at um, two broad categories and then a hybrid category that brings together the best of these two. So the degree based centrality matrix in which you will see the degree centrality itself is just a measure of the number of neighbors for a vertex and then the eigenvector centrality metric which is a measure of the degree of a vertex as well as the degree of its neighbors. So it again captures degree in one way or the other. Then the shortest path based centrality matrix in which you will see the between a centrality matrix where uh, the between us is a measure of the number of shortest paths a vertex is part of. Whereas closeness is a measure of how close is a vertex to the rest of the vertices in the network. Now we look at what is called hybrid centrality metric that brings together the best of the degree and shortest path centrality metrics and we will call it as a local clustering coefficient based degree centrality. Um, so we have not yet looked at what a local clustering coefficient is, but uh, once we look at it, we will be able to put together that along with the degree. And the idea here for this local clustering coefficient based degree centrality is, uh, it's a kind of a computationally light version uh, for the between a centrality metric. Okay, And we'll see that when we look at that metric in detail. So let's stop with this and look at another video.